Hey guys. go to a double kick but not like a double kick not like a not like a like doo -doo -doo. you know i just kind of spit i'm hoping no one saw that that's so awkward you know when you're like talking and like you spit when you're talking but not even just like live stream i just want to point in for ice cream that's so fun um you feel what i'm saying though like when you're talking and you like spit and then just like i just like kind of keep going like it didn't happen like a little more punch it's like kind of that's two that's two two punches i don't even know what that is that's cool i like that maybe a little 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 bit of cut here so that it's not so like hey i feel like it's got too much going on oh that's why it's because i haven't knocked it up like a dummy i like that i like that that's what i like i like that i like that so um i'm gonna give you guys a rundown of basically how my life goes um making drum patterns so like on logic i i use logic um in case you didn't know which is a uh daw system to make music on um so basically logic has like some pretty cool stock like sample stuff um like this thing called quick sampler which is what i use um and you just like throw literally you just drag and drop your sampler in there um, and then it, wow, goes to your MIDI, um, which is pretty dope, um, but it's, I think that it, like, messes with the sound of it a little bit, so sometimes I'll just be, like, dragging and dropping them, like, right on the, the, the playlist, like, the grid, um, but the thing with the quick sampler is it's, like, you drop your sample in and you have, like, one sample that goes all the way up the keys, just, like, different pitches and stuff like that um but there's also this thing called ultra beat and you can throw like a bunch of samples in there so like my c note would be the kick and like a g would be the snare like stuff like that like i'd have multiple sounds um that's what i would use but for some reason i don't like putting them all in one want to go to the beast pro yeah you know what's so funny is i actually just went a couple days ago um so i'm kind of like tuckered out of the beach but don't worry. Um, I filmed a little video there, so so we could like live the experience all over again. It's cool. Um, but like with Ultra Beat, um, it's kind of weird because like when you record it, it all records in like one, you know what I'm saying? Like one uh, MIDI track thing, because um, obviously it's like one thing. But I don't know. For some reason, I just like I think it's better being able to play a kick and the snare at the same time to get the best thing for me at least. But I just been on this way recently where I'm just putting like single instruments into the sampler and I'm laying out my kick pattern and then I'll put my snare. Usually I start with my snare just because it's like, you know what I'm saying? You can't like beat it. Be 
see what I'm saying? Like, that could be hard, though, the double kick. I think I'm going to go with that. And if I hate it, then, like, I'll move it somewhere else. But just for now. Just for the fun. kick in there too like a whoa, boom, boom. you see what I'm saying it'll like shoop, boom, like pull you into it you feel, what I'm, you feel what I'm saying hope everyone's day's been good though my day's been lit um I was just chilling today cleaning clean my room I'm washing my sheets and all that you see like right here I got no sheets that's me right there this is my room in case you guys want to see it it's my Telecaster and my Strat. Um, it's my bathroom. There's my closet. I got my clothes in there. There's a, uh, another MIDI in there. It's actually the same MIDI as this, but um, this one's 32 keys. That one's 64, I believe. Uh, that. And then there's two guitars in there. I have a lava guitar. The Beef is like Yummy by Justin Bieber. Sure. Sure. That's what I was going for, yeah. Sometimes I'll just be making shit and I don't even have like a vision for it. I'll just be like making whatever sounds good in the moment. Like I don't have like a, I'm not like, ah, this is exactly how I want um, this to go. But this, I found this loop and I was like, that sounds like Post Malone's gonna like slide on the track and do some crazy Post Malone stuff on there. So I was like, maybe I'll just build the beat with like that in mind and then sound like Post Malone vocally. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, So, so far, we have a kick, and that would be it. try something and it's probably not gonna work out but we might as well try it right Quantization, here we go. I'm doing quantum mechanics right now, guys. Quantum mechanics. Nothing but some quantum mechanics. Hi. 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 What's up, guys? So, high cut on the vintage snare. That's what it sounds like normally. It's kind of hard, ah. but my idea here is high cut the vintage snare, which doesn't sound bad to begin with. I would roll with that. I feel like that's pretty cool. But then taking a lighter snare and like
I might just roll with it like that. Happy accent. I kind of like how it sounds. Um, that I might just use this as a percussion. Oh no, I should drop it on that one. Have it. I'm getting funky right here. We're just messing around. That's how we're doing. That was me. That was not it. I'm gonna. I, th I think I'm gonna double it though. <laughs> Leave me alone. I feel like they need to be a lot lighter though. I think like it's still too much. I don't think I'm just gonna do half of it and copy and paste. I don't mind that. At least for now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, yeah, I don't mind that. We might just have to see where this goes. We might just have to see where it goes. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, 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 sound like if I do like one note it's gonna be loud as hell that's not that like that's pretty hard the one note I might just put that in there.
first one I did, but I don't know what else I would want on here. Maybe like. I like the cutoff on this one. It's like as soon as you take your finger off the note. Oh. It's like there's the, there's not a lot of hanging around that goes around, so it's nice. Turn my kick down before my frickin' neighbors come up and punch me in the face. I just feel mute my kick. But the kick helps me get that little wow. That could almost be a vocal melody. Have it like follow the guitar, that'd be sick. So that'd be cool. Wow. But I really like how this one, this note down here sounds. Love it, but. Maybe we can start with that. That's what it is. Okay, so the first one.
no more guitar in this. Zero guitar. There's not a single amount of guitar more that I want in this at all. There's zero percent guitar. Oh, yo, I got food that like literally got delivered like a, li a minute ago and I still haven't gotten it. That's so tragic. My food. Got him. Too many wild parties on it. Me and Bo got kicked out of the yacht club. I love your smile, Peyton. That's sad. What? What is sad? What is sad? What is so sad? I'm so hungry right now. I literally, this is like my first, like, official meal of the day. Story time, real quick. I ordered, um, shout out coasters for existing. Like, just, oh my god. Um, I ordered this, like, what's it called? This smoothie shop, this juice bar. My manager, um, might have moved it to start randomly. Because I'm like that, I don't know. Um, sadly, you forgot your food. Yeah, I know, right? Um, my manager was at the gym. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to order a smoothie place because I feel like getting back from the gym and seeing, like, I don't know, McDonald's in front of your face, like, would be like, Nice. You know, I just like worked out and bettered myself. You now I have to come back to this apartment and see everything I'm trying not to eat. So I was like, screw it. I'm gonna get a juice bar. And I ordered him some wellness shots and he took them like a champ. So I definitely will not be able to eat those, drink those. Taking one wellness shot in my life. I'm just pretty all right. Got myself some chicken nuggets. I have myself a good little meal. Wow, three ketchup packets. Thanks, guys. Really glad that I can sauce up my nuggets with ketchup packets. Three of them. Can I have some fries? Oh, God, yeah, you can have some fries. They're not really that good. Not a big McDonald's guy anymore. Used to love McDonald's, like, because I was never like allowed to eat it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never got McDonald's. It was never like a meal for me until I hit about like age 12. I never ate McDonald's. I got McDonald's breakfast, but literally was like never ate McDonald's. Um, and then I just started eating McDonald's and was like, what have I been doing all my life? And I really loved it. Now, I'll order it because it's cheap and it takes 10 minutes to get to my house. It doesn't taste all that great. But. Like, I feel like it's going to make me sick. Like, I feel like it's not good for me. I've been having a weird thing with food recently. I keep thinking that. Wow, this tastes like dog crap. This tastes so bad. I waited so long for this McDonald's. And it is not good. I was hoping it'd be like crispy, you know? I bite into the, my chicken and I get a little crunch. No crunch with these. Zero. Look. Is that crunch to you? Look at that. What am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that?
Mm. I'm gonna save this for later. Maybe that's why I'm so skinny. Because I get food and I save it for later. That was gross though. It was not good. And I was kind of just like a like a snacking meal. Like I was really just getting that food. Because I was kind of hungry. And I was like, you know, it'd probably be good if I put food in my body. Not that. That was not it. I've had a lot of McDonald's in my life. And that was within one bite of a nugget and a couple fries. Fries were soggy. I love McDonald's fries, but they were bad. Fries were soggy. I really like this though. This little thing I'm doing right here. So we got Little Caesars. I got Little Caesars the other day too, and it also had to fall in the super terrible, unedible um, category. Just kidding. It was pretty good. Wasn't good though. Wasn't like good, good, you know. But it's because you forgot them. Yeah, this probably is my fault. I left them sitting outside for like 20 minutes. I got the notification like when I first got on live and then I was sitting here making songs and I was like, oh, I got food outside. I should probably grab that. It's like fast food. It's not going to be good. Little do you know, it wasn't good. Breadsticks are always, uh, are the best always. Yeah, I agree. I said chilies, to be honest. Yo, chilies low-key got that sauce sometimes. They got this thing. Um, I'm a chicken tender guy. I love uh, chicken, but mostly when it's tendered. And, um, yeah, I like chicken sandwiches, but I prefer the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the tenderloins a lot more. It's a lot easier for me to put into my body and digest. Kind of, uh, I don't know the word. Um, picky eater. There we go. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big food guy sometimes. Uh, sometimes I like my uh, chicken and my peanut butter toast. And I will roll with that for a while. Still get protein. I like burgers. Burgers are fire. But chicken sandwiches are the best. Yeah, yeah, I love chicken sandwiches. I do, but let me tell you, nothing hits better than when you sit down at that restaurant and you check that menu and, oh my goodness, they got them fresh-looking chicken tenders. Like, I'm talking those, like, buttermilk crispy tenders. You take a bite and it's just, like, mostly breading. Oh my, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? You're telling me you'd rather get some acai bowl then some crispy chicken tenders yeah no i'm kidding i actually ordered an acai bowl today it's still in the freezer because i saved it for later so yeah i don't want the love i want the drug you know the usual everything in florida this week has been so good that's i'm so glad honestly i really like i feel like you're purposely ignoring my comments but then you were that doesn't help my case because I'm not purposely ignoring your comments, but I just happen to see that one and read that one. You feel me? I'm not like purposely ignoring your comments. That like made me look really bad. I didn't even know what I was reading until I finished it. And I was like, wow, she just roasted me. Yeah. Um, Peyton, that's your new catchphrase. Save it for later. Yeah, I'm gonna save that for later. Go out to eat. Yo, have y'all ever been out to eat with, like, your friend's family or, like, your somebody that isn't your family directly? Like, maybe your cousins or some shit. I don't know. You've been out with them, and then, like, you, you get food, but you don't really eat all of it. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, bro, sometimes I cannot, I cannot put full meals. Like, the portion sizes are, like, I weigh a buck twenty, five nine over here. I'm not putting, like... 50 pounds of food into my body. You get what I'm saying? So, like... Yeah. Um, 
you just like get the food you're eating and then there's like half a plate of like food on your plate still you know like you still got a good portion of food and then you're just like yeah i'm gonna get a box and they're like oh you didn't really eat much it's like yeah i didn't eat much thanks for thank you for observing that i didn't eat a lot of food and now making it a whole conversation for everybody to now make me feel like i have to shove this food in my face um which just makes me feel so bad but i just get a box and i save it for later you know and i always pay for my meals just kidding <laughs> Uh, serious question, do you watch Outer Banks? Yeah, I finished the new season in like literally two days on tour. Me and Dylan. Exactly, I hate that. So bad. It's terrible. Peyton, could you tell me happy birthday, Magda? Mag Magda? Did I say it right? Hopefully. Happy birthday. Hope you've had a good birthday. You should visit me in Pennsylvania. Maybe. I want a rich boy. <laughs> you need a rich boy uh, to give you all the power. Like, oh Lord, uh, can you give me just that? I would say, less girl, uh, I'll explore you like a mountain girl. Where you rubbing on me, grandma? Hey, like. I don't give a fuck about your man, he a moron. Couple drinks down by, now you take a more off. Thought she, by the way, I made a dry cough. I bet she's not shy, should've seen her take her socks off. Ooh. I was spitting bars back then. Such a slimy line. Guess she's not shy, should've seen her take her socks off. Imagine that's how you get, like... No, that's terrible, I can't say it on live. You, see, you feel what I'm saying, though, like... It's like a good line. Like, if I'm not comfortable with somebody, I'm not going to be whipping my socks off like like that, you know? But if, if someone, like, just be whipping their socks off, like, free the toes, it's like, oh, you probably are not the shyest person. So that's where the thought process, genius breakdown. Guess she's not shy. Should have seen her take her socks off. Sleeping in my bed with no socks. I got your girl. She's sleeping in my bed with no socks on. Okay? I am so sorry. No, because I showed Rich Boy to my dad. I feel like that's such a slimy song that, like, I don't know why you guys want that song. It is such, like, do you guys understand that I was, like, not, I know I'm not that old now, but, like, I was, like, maybe barely 16 making that song. And I'm sitting there, like, the way she sucked my soul, I need some spiritual he No. Nah. Yeah, no way. <laughs> no chance uh not gonna happen um it literally went viral no it went stupid it went stupid like everybody and their mom i so let me give you guys the rundown of how it goes like for me right so i'm sitting there and you guys know jafari you know jay the man i'm sitting there and he's like rich boy's going viral on tiktok and i was like no what do you mean what are you talking about and then that was like kind of like it like i don't think i heard anything else of it and then he sent me the audio and i looked at it and i was like holy crap it is definitely going viral there's a lot of people using this song and then um i get texts from like everybody right like everybody like they're just like this is you like, what? Is this your song? I'm like, yeah. I had, like, so many people hit me up. My mom even texted me. No, my mom didn't text me. But, yeah, no, like, it was crazy. I was like, yo, where'd y'all find this? Get it off TikTok. I sent you the audio, but you never uh, see it. My bad. There's, like, an editing audio for it, too. I know I saw that. Like, it's going stupid. But hey guys, I'm about to drop this track soon, like really soon. Um, so Tuesday, which is tomorrow, I'm going to have a crazy announcement for y'all. Like all, all my little peeps in here right now. Um, I'm announcing some stuff tomorrow. 
You changed my life in so many ways. I've dealt with autism and you made me realize that my imagination makes me who I am. Thousand percent. Thousand percent. My cousin actually has autism. That's um, really cool of you to say. Um, that was really nice. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, but um, frick, dude. <laughs> You're very sweet. Who said that comment? Um, Dominic, Ren, you're the best. Um, crap, I can't even remember what I was talking about. Gosh darn it. Um, crap, man. I forgot what I was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm announcing uh, a song tomorrow. Um, so yeah, though I'll give you guys a date tomorrow for this new song. Um, and it's gonna be cool. I'm really excited. Um, I just got the first cut of some really cool stuff. Uh, just got that new cut today. So got to see some cool projects getting done. Um, yeah, I'm about to give you guys a, a present like really soon, like way sooner than I think any of you guys realize. Um, so yeah, tomorrow is the, uh, is the uh, news day. I'll give you guys a date. You'll know when. Everything is dropping, everything's coming out, um, so that's dope, but my phone's about to die, and I need to make music, um, so I'm gonna get back to that. Um, so I can actually jump back and forth, you know? But yeah, guys, stay safe, thanks for coming on and talking for a little bit. Tomorrow is a big, big, big announcement, um, so, and I know you guys are gonna be super excited for it, because of the DMs I've been getting recently, you guys have been asking me to drop, so, finally... I'm um, gonna be gonna give you guys a date tomorrow. I'm gonna hang on to. So yeah, and it's an approved date too. Set in stone. Date is not changing. The song is coming out um, on the day that I say it's coming out tomorrow. So yes, you guys will know when all that is dropping. But do not go to sleep. I'm gonna tell you that, or like go to sleep, like actually go to sleep, but don't go to sleep like social media wise because. Um, it may be a lot sooner than you think. So wait and stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming on. I'm going to hop off and do Peyton things. So love you guys.